And when I went down there uh, to Toyota, I never made an appointment. As I approached reception, they said, oh, do you have an appointment? I said, no, I'd like to talk to someone about getting the, or obtaining the Toyota franchise. So I waited for four hours and uh, yes, and then Laurie Brown come out and he said, uh, first question, where are you from again? I said, Walla Walla. He says, where the hell's that? And from that, uh, we went into their boardroom, they had a big map, and they said, oh, Walla Walla, I see it, yes, very small town. I said, yes, 700 people. Well, why should we give you the franchise? I said, because I can sell. That, yeah, and that's how it started. And you know what my target was? One. Down the road. Jacob bought in paint and bought a fabrications. We built a service station. We then ventured through window tinting and paint protection to windscreens. It flows on from there. We have... would always look and seek opportunities to see how that would better suit what we already had, how we could grow it. And I, I was in tandem with him with that. The property companies, we have a caravan park, which we house our, uh, our staff that are struggling to find accommodation. Oh, this is a lot. We have a finance brokerage arm. Uh, in the beginning, when we started up, we had no money. Um, so it was a big, big commitment to make it happen. And we did the old fashioned belt tightening. He's very, very smart how he's gone about his business. All the businesses can actually coincide with each other. I think it's a credit to Neville and Susan with the vision they've had and they keep just coming up with uh, a new idea, a new, a new tact. Probably the biggest venture we ended into was the Hertz franchise. So we now run Hertz Rental in 40 locations along with Thrifty uh, throughout uh, Victoria and New South Wales. So again, there's a concentric growth there. We supply the vehicles to Hertz. We finance the vehicles with Hertz. We service the vehicles, we sell. In, within Hertz, then we uh, trade the vehicles back in, supply to our used car department, so the circle is complete and then a new, new car sales ventures forward. First year's trading in 1931. And he turned, so the first year Granddad turned over 7,214. The second year he turned over. Four Grandfather, he really started the concentric growth pattern, which we do, to, which we use today, 100%. So he sold product to the farmers, petrol, wire, and machinery, and then when they harvested their grain, um, he per he refined the grain on their farms, or he purchased the grain and refined it. At Jacob's Oat Mills uh, in Walla and therefore it was a circle and then he, he sold to uh, Master Foods in Wodonga to their pet food and then we exported overseas for a product that we made which was rolled oats. That wasn't really me so dad decided to separate that business from H.A. Jacob and Sons and I pushed through then on the, uh, on the machinery side and as mentioned, we ventured into motorbikes and then cars in 75, which was the real turning point for our journey. Uh, the first vehicles that we sold in 75. Because yeah. 75, 76, this is 76 stamp. And then uh, we ventured to Albury Wodonga in 86. And uh, that was a big call for us, a big challenge. We then formed the Jacob Group. Grandmother, my mother, my dad and grandfather. His father was of a very good character and a very lovely gentleman and had very, very deep, strong values and that has come through with Neville. Went fishing with Dad, went shooting with Dad. Dad and I worked in the same office and, um, and it just, it was good because we were both on the same train. Oh, it's good working with my family, to be honest. It's, um, we've got a good work relationship and it seems to be, uh, well, we're in the same office building and you know, two doors down in the office, yeah. so we get to talk lots. Uh, Family-wise, it's the same. 
the whole lot, of, our whole family, we work really close together, um, supporting each other. Yeah, it's not hard. Your people skills are essential in business because you need to communicate with your staff and have them on board with your direction and then you need to communicate with the customers that walk through the door. So just, just their vibe that they pass on to everyone and it's, uh, it's good to be around because um, it makes you, makes, you feel, makes you feel good when they've got those positive vibes. Uh, I think they would describe Neville, uh, he, Neville's very personable with his staff, he treats all of his staff like our family. Uh, Neville and Susan make a, a brilliant team, they always have from the day I started, always admired how they um, communicated together, but always very supportive of each other. The greatest achievement that I've experienced is when Susan was brave enough to accept uh, my hand in marriage. That was a big call for her and um, it was probably the best decision that we both made. But he, I was just instantly attracted to him as a person, his personality and character. And also his, uh, he was just an exciting person to be with. He had a, a, a very astute mind, um, was inventive. We do everything, no, not everything together. I can't mow the lawns because I don't do them good enough been married for over 52 years and I, I still feel about that with him today. He's a, uh, a very generous, loving, uh, deep person but he's, he's also an exciting person to be with. Community activity is just vital. Um, if you have a business in a rural area. It's the community that support us and uh, it's, it's extremely important. And the latest venture that we're working closely with the Rotary Club in Myrtleford and Bright is a mobile uh, health clinic. We believe this will work really well for regional Victoria incorporating Aubrey, Wodonga, Wangaratta and all the other little towns. So it's, a, it's an initiation from the, uh, these Rotary Clubs that were, their vision was unbelievable and will work really well. What motivates me, yeah. or what I guess is um, probably family, our extended family, which is our staff. We enjoy being with them. They are fun, we do have a lot of fun. Um, and then probably success, being successful and seeing them enjoy success. Seeing them uh, provide for their family which is very important. And uh, yeah, they're, they're drivers, key drivers of the business. And I'm talking about all the staff, not just management, right through to everyone that turns up every day. Two sentences for Neville would be um, always on the go, constantly thinking, trying to plan and look for what's coming next. This is something that we both want to do and we both see the future in it and it's, it's, it's our legacy that we want to work on for our family and our children and our staff. And that, that's a credit not only to the people that have been here that long but it's all to do with uh, Neville and Susan who's supported us through that journey. And every day is a good day. Even when things go pear-shaped, you just got to get over that. So, uh, and they do. When you look at the people that have been in longevity, you're like, something's done right. Something's done right. 